back with another video i'm currently at savers which is a thrift store we're currently gonna be looking for a pair of denim i appreciate it bro i'm recording right now it's fun watching you from fucking start on tiktok and you know what i mean yeah i was talking to nico at the gym about it i appreciate it man nice he said he watches my youtube and that he likes my videos pretty cool good little interaction there Hope you guys are all having a great day today. This video is gonna be a little bit more vloggy. Kinda wanna get into like longer form videos where I'm just kinda chatting a little bit, talking to you guys more. That dude over there got a shiesty on. I don't even wanna know what he's getting into. Remember, we only got $10 to spend. So I don't even know what that's gonna be able to get me. Honestly, that might not be enough because everything's looking like $8 or more. That ain't nothing, bro. Yeah, I'm recording right now, see what's up. Yo. <laughs> It's my boy Marco. Just thinking like bigger pants. Anything I can get with yeah, ten bucks, you know. Yeah. But most of the stuff is like seven, eight dollars, so I don't even know yeah. what I'm gonna be able to grab. Well, the original challenge was ten bucks, but I might have to break the rules right away. Okay, new limit twenty bucks. I can only spend twenty bucks. It's a nice little gray pair of denim. I'll toss those in. Man, look at these, bro. These are diabolical. What in the world are these, bro? For 20 bucks, bro. Who's buying these? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a victim of the biker jeans a couple years ago. I used to wear stuff like this. So I can't even hate on it. Back then, bro, like my freshman year, I was rocking those. Those pants, like a pair of Yeezys. Bro, I promise you, I was so fly. Thought I was fly back then. <laughs> I like the distressing on these. Pretty cool. Ugh. Dude, I hate this wash. It's like acid wash on the jeans. That's ugly, bro. I don't know what the plan is, seriously. I'm gonna just completely guess this later on. Hopefully we can make something cool out of it. That's like where the magic comes from, though. I feel like when I don't actually try to make something cool, and I just guess it, it always comes out fire. These gray Wranglers in there. Wranglers, yeah. Yo, these might be the craziest jeans I've ever seen. They regular jeans but they lined with like red fleece. Yo, I found Cardi shorts, bro. When he was wearing that thong, I found his shorts. <laughs> they actually do look super similar to them, that's funny. Do you guys ever be buying underwear from the thrift store? Be honest with me, bro. If I find out you be buying underwear from the thrift store, don't talk to me, don't hit me up. All right, I'm gonna go down this denim aisle one more time. Hopefully something spawns in. Ooh, see, these are nice too. That's what I'm talking about. And it's like a really thick, high quality denim. That's what I like. I need a haircut, bro. I got way too much hair going on here. We did it. Done deal. All right, guys, we made it back to my studio. As you guys know, the challenge was I can only spend $20 at the thrift store and make a runway piece out of it. It was originally $10, but I guess inflation is way more than I thought it was, so changed the limit to 20 bucks. As you guys can see, I only spent $18.08 .08 on those two pairs of pants. Let me show you guys what I actually got there, though. So first off, for $8.29, we got these size 32 vintage Lee denim. They reek of cigarettes, but they were a nice color and fit. So these will be a nice pair of pants to work with. And then we are going to be combining those with these 550 Levi's. These were $9.79. These will just be a donor pair. We'll probably cut these up and put some panels on those pants. Not sure yet, we're gonna figure it out. Like I said, don't even have a plan for this, but that's when the best things get created. Before I do anything, I have my first ever like fan mail 
PO box unboxing. I got two packages here. These were both sent to me for free. They're both items from my friend's clothing brands. They both wanted to send me something. So I'm gonna show you guys what they are and review the pieces. Also the Instagram pages for both of these will be in the description. So if you wanna check my boys out, you can. But first item from my boy Austin, his brand Curse. I got this crazy leather jacket. It's got this like embossing on the sleeve. This he sent to me to rework, but it's so fire. I like don't really want to cut it up and mess it up, but I might turn it into like a bag or something like that eventually. I'm gonna throw this on and show you guys what it looks like. Damn, bro, this is crazy. This jacket's so fire. Nice leather, it's super high quality. You see that? That's some nice details right there. I like this. I like this jacket a lot. Nice piece right here. Thank you, Austin. Appreciate you like crazy. Next up from my boy Tyler. His brand's called 2-4. He sent me a zip up for free. This isn't even to rework. He just wanted to send this to me. So I appreciate you, Tyler. First off on the freebies, he sent me this super cool sticker. I really like this a lot. I'll probably put this on like my iPad or something. Nice little handwritten note. Trey, keep inspiring, brother. You will go far. Hell yeah. Appreciate you, Tyler. Now for the actual zip up. Let me throw this on as well. Yeah, nice calm little hoodie. It's got a nice stone wash to it. You guys know I like my cropped items, so this fits good. It's got like this cool applique logo on the back and then also a super cool zipper puller. I'm loving the zipper pullers. You guys killed it on both of these. Super cool hoodie as well. I'll be wearing this in the summer a lot. Appreciate you, Austin and Tyler. Thank you guys for sending me both of these items. So this is both the pair of pants combined. This is the back pockets of one pair put on the sides, put the stressing all over the pants, add an inside flare, and then the outside flare is going to be the waistband. So that's why there's like belt loops right here. That's going to be the waistband. It's going to be super cool. This is what the pants feel like right now. They're honestly not too bad, but they're pretty tapered and it's just not my style. So remember how these pants fit right now so you can compare it to what they look like later. cutting out all my panels and flares. By the looks of it already, these pants are definitely gonna come out fire because I have two huge inside flares and then the outer flares, which will be on the outside of the leg. Like I said, I was gonna incorporate the waistband into it and that's just definitely gonna look fire. And I also got the two back pockets. These are gonna go on the sides of the legs, kind of act like cargo pockets. Right now it's 2.30 and I have a fashion show to go to at six, I believe. So I'm kind of fighting time here. So if I get these done in time, that'd be crazy. This dang iron just keeps beeping. You done? I might vlog part of the fashion show. I told you guys I wanna get a little bit more into vlogging and bringing you along with my day, so that's what we're gonna do. But because I don't have too much time right now, we're just gonna keep on going and start sewing. I haven't looked at it yet, but it seems like it came out fire. Why wouldn't it? I sewed it. The leg opening on these is definitely gonna be mad big. It's already at like 10 inches. The outside flare is gonna add like another like six. So it might be like a 15, 16 inch leg opening. So what I'm gonna do next is add the outside flares. I'm super excited for this part because usually when I do flares, I just use regular material. I don't use like this part of the denim. I didn't record this part, but I also repaired a bunch of holes on the pants. As you can see right here along the seam, there's a massive hole. So I just put like a piece of fabric on it and stitched back and forth. I'm pretty sure that method's called Boro, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that one, but pretty sure it's called Boro. Now let's get the flares pinned up and ready to sew. Oh, 
All right, the pants are completely closed up. I'm currently wearing them. I'm not gonna show you yet because they're not completely finished. Pretty close to being done though. I'm only gonna add a couple more minor details. I might add these pockets somewhere to the pants and then I'm gonna add distressing all over them and that's gonna be pretty much it. All right guys, I just completely finished the denim. They're right here. They came out super sick. Like this is definitely one of my favorite one-on-ones I've made. Now, before I show you guys, if you've been enjoying this video and wanna keep seeing my videos, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Also make sure to follow my Instagram pages. I'm gonna put them on the screen. If you wanna stay up to date with me and my brand, make sure to follow those too. Now let's go check these pants out. making clothes for a couple years now this is definitely top three favorite one of ones i made the details on them are just crazy the way i use the pockets on the bottom flares just looks so sick like i really like how i did that there overall though 10 out of 10 super happy with how they came out i will be dropping these as a one of one in my next collection so if you haven't followed the instagrams make sure you go do that you will see these get posted and they're one of one so there's only one made and there won't be any more so like I said, this entire day I've been fighting the time. I had to get these finished before I had to leave for the fashion show. The fashion show isn't mine. My girlfriend's just modeling in it for someone else. The one these pants will be a part of will be in like two to three weeks. I'm gonna make a video for that as well so you guys will see the whole process of that. But I'm about to get ready to leave and we're gonna head there. Damn, it's windy out. Obviously we driving the Miata today. I need to give this thing a car wash, bro. I've been driving through mud all week. All right, I'm about to drive over to the fashion show. It's like 25 minutes away, and it starts in like 20 minutes, so I gotta hurry up. I kinda wanna put my top down. Yeah, that's what we doing. All right, we just got to the fashion show. I don't even know how to get inside of this building, and we're running behind, so I need to hurry up. Oh, I see like a group of people walking. I'm just gonna follow them. That's the building back there. I swear to God, I'm only here for her. Once she walks by, I'm leaving. I'm currently recording this on Saturday. You guys are gonna see this on Sunday. So I literally gotta bang all this editing out tonight. I still don't know if I'm going the right way. Hello. Hello. Is this the fashion show? Yes, go over here. Perfect. I'm locking this door. <laughs> Follow the editorial sign. Thank you. I think we got in here for free by accident. It was $10 to get in, but that guy just let me in. <laughs> What a dog. I had to hit the ATM real quick. I thought I got him for free. Nah. Um, as well as a warm welcome from our... Oh. <laughs> you look good up there. Thank you. Hey, I told you guys I was leaving right when she came out. She came out and I bounced. I spent $10 just to see her. I gotta get back to the studio and literally start editing this entire video. I'm probably gonna be up until like five, six in the morning, I can imagine. But it's all so I can get this video posted for you guys. I'm trying to stay consistent on this content, you know? All right guys, that's gonna conclude it for this video. This video was a little bit different. I kind of tried to vlog a little bit and hold the camera a little bit more and like show you guys more of what I'm doing throughout the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed that style a little bit. Also, thank you to everyone who ordered because of my last video. I said I had a whole bunch of stock left over and it's pretty much all sold out right now. Like you guys can check the website link in my description. If there's stuff available, you can grab something, but most of it is sold out. So thank you all. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.